The second Monday night game is Philadelphia versus Minnesota. The Eagles versus the Vikings, a one-and-a-half point line here on Philly. Totals 52-and-a-half. A lot of respect for these offenses here. Where are you at what we're seeing this line here right now? It feels like Minnesota is getting a lot of respect. And they should get a lot of respect because they are a good football team. And I guess, is there still question marks, I guess, surrounding the Philadelphia Eagles? I don't know why. What happens if this game where the Eagles took that fourth quarter seriously and then a pace in the Lions by 17 points? Is this line three and a half year as a favorite towards the Philadelphia Eagles? Because the line opened up at the FanDuel Sportsbook, Kevin, at minus two. Now we see that minus one and a half number. But how about the total? I agree with the movement here, but it sort of makes it into that range where you have to start questioning things. A 47 and a half all the way up to a 52 two and a half so we'll see if that one settles in but if I'm looking at this more of a playoff atmosphere like how do you take this here because if I'm looking at the Eagles home field advantage I think it makes some sense to take the Eagles here at that short price I really do but at the same time where are we looking at that total because you have two explosive offenses that can get after and quite frankly one side that says we use an explosive running game in the Eagles but now with a true number one wide receiver and we do know Justin Jefferson is coming to town here's one of the elite wide receivers in the league which Kirk Cousins can get him the football and Dow been cooking that backfield. The one thing that was not working on the Eagles side in week one was the ground attack going against them, which you saw DeAndre Swift go nuts against their defense. And now you bring in Dalvin Cook. It's hard for me to look at this game and say to myself, I don't like the Philadelphia Eagles, but also that I like the under. It just seems like there's too many weapons on the field. It's September. You're probably getting good weather on Monday Night Football. And I think both of these offenses will really get after it. I think the Eagles are being a little disrespected here on this line, but maybe people view Minnesota. I don't know if it's people view Minnesota higher than I thought, or people view Philly lower than I thought, but just to to, the Super Bowl odds, right? You have 13 to one on the birds and plus uh, and 24 to one on the Minnesota Vikings. That's a very real gap between those teams. You would think at home, the Eagles would be laying a field goal. Maybe the two and a half here. This would suggest that Minnesota is a favorite on a neutral field. I'm not sure I agree with that. I'm not. Maybe a pick if that's how we were going to line it up here. But this to me right now is a little too strong Minnesota's way. Are people reading too much into the 35-point score by the Detroit Lions? It feels like it. The game was 31-17. That game felt over realistically i understand they kept coming it's who the it's it's who they are or it was 38 21 excuse me but at the end of the day the eagles had that game wrapped up they really did and the fact that that now maybe is providing some value on the eagles is enticing to me